up, everybody. Oh, you know what? I don't even need this. Use that when I play. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh. So, uh, yeah, man. It's game time. Right around here. You guys can see laundry in the background. <clears throat> you didn't see that. I'm gonna pay extra to see my laundry hamper. Uh but yeah. Uh tonight we're gonna be jumping in to Monkey Island 2 The Chuck's Ooh. Revenge. Um I I don't show it off enough because it's behind my fucking giant ass head. But my Monkey Island anthology collection. Got a brand new meat up top. Murray's head. Uh, I don't think you're going to see Murray until, uh, I think you're going to see Murray until three. And then Murray's present for a lot of the games. I I think it's the third. I think it's the third game's the first time he shows. Now, the second game, I haven't played nearly as many times as I played the first game. So, I might, may, could happen. I could run into spots that I'm like, fuck, I don't remember. And I'll have to, like, run around until I remember. So, this might be a longer play, because I don't like looking stuff up for these games. Don't need my note. I have a new Raven and I went and uh got some some Kerbo some Kerbo loot. I have a Kirby's Burger notebook now with a bunch of Waddle Dees. And uh pretty excited. Avenges. Got my notebook. Got my pen. Go ahead and go ahead and die. Alright. Here we go. There was old guy, old school guy brush. Chuck's Revenge. Special. Line. Oh, okay. Open options. Let's see here. How to play. Use the mouse, point the cursor, we like press the left mouse button to make guy brush walk there. Interacting cursor. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So you right click and then you have the, the wheel. Object highlighting. Inventory, click the mouse wheel. You can hit H for hints in this one. And 
S is push. Y is pull. I don't know why Y is pull. G is give. U is use. O is open. Alright. Settings. Object highlighting. Classic mode. <gasps> you can play classic mode with the voice dialogue on. <laughs> Subtitles off. We'll try it with it off first. Hello. I don't know if I'll be caught up with you by the end of the stream. I'm only playing. I'm only playing for like two hours. I'm only playing for like two hours. This, this one I really like, but I haven't played as much. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChucka Wee! backreading story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, uh, Scab, Scab Island. Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, oh, there we go. Bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. Big a treasure whoop! so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the sea. I have a ticket you to Big Whoop. Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this thing. Holy sh**. Why isn't my filter thing working for me to hear myself? You guys, can you guys hear me? Is it, is the voice filter on? Because I can't tell. It's being funny. PK Rave. I don't know why it's being funny. Why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? I'm gonna be sad. Hello? He's working. For some reason, I can't hear my voice filter. It's like it's broken. I'm a little sad. That's okay. It shouldn't be that vicious. How about now? Ah, there we go. Yeah, my button to hear myself is broken for some reason. Hiya, hiya. Weird. Um, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll close and open. It, 
you know, it's working, but it's being funny. So, that's fine. We'll live with it. Is this the one? Yeah! I haven't used this one in a while! I like that one. Alright. Back to the game. So, things that people miss a lot when Welcome playing... to Wood Tip. No treads are hunting zone. Welcome to Wood Tip. No treads are hunting zone. Gonna pick Oops. up the sign. I think I broke the sign. Oh no, we got a shovel from the sign. Where do you think you're going, fancy Fucking pants? Largo. You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money. I don't want any trouble. Who's gonna make me, shorty? I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. You guys want to start it off? The frogs, butts. No, the frog. Oh, the frogs and bugs in the background. It's so relaxing. You guys want to start it off and tell me how how to respond for this one? Cause I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move fast once I get going. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Right, I'm gonna say I, I, I don't pay for nothing. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Then who keeps up the law and maintains orders? Then who eats the donuts and roughs up transients? <laughs> Please, not in my new coat. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the donuts and who roughs eats up the donuts and roughs up the transients. I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Largo Legrand. Largo Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. So, I did start off with money. I forgot to show that off. You do start off with a good bit of money on your in your pocket and you totally get fleeced. It's the second time I've used that term this evening. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Here we go. A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck wood... Oh, could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck it if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. I'll touch whatever I want. What do you think you're doing? Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Buzzsaw Girl. What do you think you're doing? It's adjusted to my height. Oh no you don't. It's not a toy. 
This is nice having the highlighting. Ah, yes. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? It's Wally. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. You're such a rebel, Wally. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With a sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks. That's all I need to know. Okay, but don't be shy if you think of a question. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me a freelancer. Sit by the IRS. Let me see your files. Uh, don't shoot. I was just asking. Well, that's a dangerous question. I've been researching Big Whoop for years. There are a lot of people who'd like to get their hands on my files. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was... Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island Sounds and like split it Big up Whoop among the four of mysterious. them. And they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but... If I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Thanks. Right. I gotta go. Okie dokie. All right, let's take a look here. See if he does the thing. There we go. All right, Wally. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see right. a thing without me monocle. Sorry, Wally. Oh, you know what? I don't think this is where I want to go yet. The little alligator. He's kind of cute. Oh, isn't that cute? And it's securely fastened. Hmm. 
Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Mm. Alright. You'll see some characters from the first game. Chilling up here. They're up. Nice. Come on, fit in my pocket. Men of low moral fiber. Uh, excuse me? Oh. Now what is it? I got an at more galore. What the fuck? She dimma doing it to him. That's fucking hilarious. I love that. All right, long time no see. <laughs> They're like, who are you? We know you. <laughs> I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. A sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. Enjoy your so walk. We sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was, in fact, the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. <laughs> we ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. Uh oh. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you should bore passers-by to tears with long stories? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks. Oh my god, from either plug chain. it in or don't. Oh, do you, are you hearing? Are you hearing? Essential. That's me actually you know, hitting my KBM switch. Sort of dingy. Would you I'm get sorry, some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? That's me switching between my two computers. Eventually, I will figure out a way to make it so that it doesn't make that noise. Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Uh, 
so to speak. Right, right. Yeah, sounds like a crock of monkey snot to me. All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh... Hmm. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. Right. See you later, we dudes. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. <laughs> it's not their bucket. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Alright, so... Up to the laundry guy. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. All right. I don't think I can grab the rat yet. Can't remember if there's anything I want in the bloody lip yet. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? <laughs> Wanna see, Wanna my, see scar? my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Oh, don't be sore, kid. It's the law. Let's just say I want to keep on the good side of it. Why? Because the law around here isn't the law at all. It's Largo. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, I do remember what I need, but I do have to interact with that spit. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Uh, I think I gotta go back to Wally's place. Where is that thing? 
I swear I put it right here. Cool, I got paper. I hope I didn't lose it. Sorry, Wally. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Poor Wally. You gotta do him dirty, like, like, immediately. Uh, oh, yuck. Don't worry. You'll, you'll see why I need that spit later. I'm just kind of doing it to save some time. I can't remember if there's anywhere else here I need to go, but let's go. Swamp. Beach is where I came from. The peninsula. Let's go to the swamp. I feel like... I feel like the swamp has... Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Yeah, now we got a bucket of mud. All right. Uh... Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Getting in the car. I'll take you for a ride. I'll take you for a ride. Here. They, to, they actually did a good job, I feel like, with, with this one. As far as the uh, special edition. I feel like they definitely put more work into the art. Guybrush Threepwood, it's been a long time since you last came to see me. It's been like a week or two. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight, although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? You bet uh, I am. Maybe. To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, <laughs> I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I do. I, I have, have some, some of the spit. spit. Excellent. Three more. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Felt like there was a knife here, but maybe I gotta get the string. I'll just take a little. was a knife here, but I could be wrong. Go, Guybrush, go. Go, Guybrush, go. All right, we'll go to the 
the cemetery. I think I can find... Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Stan's casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. The Grave of the Unknown Cabin Boy. The Grave of the Unknown Drunk Guy We Found Face Down in His Own Vomit on the Beach. <laughs> All right. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. I can't dig that, Daddy. Nice. This is creepy feeling. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I swear on my grandfather's grave, this something weird is you going can see it for on. A second. There is, there are these tombs and these crypts, but I'm pretty sure I can't interact with it yet. Uh, I feel like this one, this, I feel like I can't really do anything here yet either. Come on, Guybrush, go. Go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because... A while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo what? on the island. No ships can sail sure. in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Dreads. Tang's mon. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, mon. Come again. I don't think there's anything I can grab in his cabin door. Oh? No. Alright. So. Trying to remember. All right, so let's go. I don't think there's anything at the beach, but we'll poke our head at the beach one more time. Oh, the stick. Perfect. Is this, is this the weenie shack? Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Alright. 
Oh, what a life to live, to be named Fink. Not a very, not a very, uh, flattering name, Fink. I don't think I can walk down there. <clears throat> yeah? Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hey, don't touch those. I need all of them. Nice sturdy workbench. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Guybrush? Guybrush does kind of sound like Mr. Creepypasta, but I can guarantee you it's not. It's not Mr. Creepypasta. I can see the resum the resemblance though. Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Oh, we should probably save our game before the game crashes or something, too. I'm very interested to eventually listen to the audio commentary, but I'm not going to do it during the, uh, the game. Like, my, the actual game playthrough. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Are you serious? There we go. So I'm missing something crucial for it otherwise he will not go in there but I still need I need some kind of blade for the string excuse me yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry. That guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hey! Hired help only! Alright. Let's see. Pretty sure there's a way. Another way in there. Here we go, yeah, this window. Yep. There's the knife! Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. I 
hate fruit cocktail. I'm no cook. I'm no cook. It's a cold potato and leek soup. It's a cold potato and leek soup. All right, well, I got the knife. I do, I do recall what to do. It'd be a shame if something gross that shouldn't end, be in a kitchen ended up in that pot. Hi, right, little alligator. I'm gonna set you free. Here he goes. Hey, how'd old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't. So get the f*** out of here. <laughs> what are you doing in here again? He's angry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheese fillets. I got the rat. What's his picture look like? Cute little fella. He's a cute little fella. And we're gonna go get somebody fired. This is a cold soup. <laughs> Good thing this is a cold soup. Ah, uh, let's order some soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. This is pretty good. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? 
Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. I hate fruit cocktail. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Even though it looks like I picked it up. Yeah, the rat's been swimming in it. And out the window. All right, um, I can't remember if I can fuck with his room again. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. It's already open. It's empty. They look pretty old. Messy, messy, messy. Just about at the point where... You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up, or else. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. But I don't. Right. I need a laundry ticket to pick up some clothes. Would anybody like to guess what article of clothing that I'm going to get from Largo? This beginning part of the game, by the way, that my first time playing the ga this game took me forever to figure, figure out because I was like a wee lad. You're close. You're close. Thinking about... You are very close. Go a little more... Go a little more cartoon silly. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for a Mr. Little, a little, A little sillier. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Ah, here it 
it comes. That's right. It's a pearly white bra. Not my size. Nice April fresh scent. That was your next guess? Hey, we got something from the thread, something from the head, and something from the dead. And, well, and a fluid. But we did the fluid already. So let's go make a voodoo doll. The chat isn't showing anymore. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if I can figure it out. That's very, that is very odd. Try something now. I guess I just had to refresh it. Yeah, I don't know why I was being weird. I definitely didn't do that on purpose. I need to find a way to make that sound not go off nonstop. When I switch back and forth. Have you brought me any more ingredients? I sure have. I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Baron. Let me get my juju bag. Oh, here we go. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. All right, we got the Voodoo doll. We got an hour left. Didn't I kick you out of here before? 
No! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. What? How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... No! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been <laughs> looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. Didn't see that in my inventory earlier. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But oh. there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee. Thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. <laughs> and now we got a book we gotta return. But... Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of, uh-oh, booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Raph was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Oh, man. I think I need more eye drops. I, my one eye has been bothering me. I think it's been allergies lately. Well, now I can uh, take a little trip. Oh, I do have to put some drops in my eye. My eyes start to bother me.
want everybody to know. If it looks like I'm crying, I am. I love this game so much. <laughs> Alright. Now that we got... Wally's monocle. An eye that's seen the world. Technically it has. Because he looks at maps. You like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for my lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Part two, the four map pieces. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm lies LeChuck's Fortress. Um, um, um. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated Fools. Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. Parrot Chow. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. All right, we're going to go to Fat Island. Let's start. Uh, I think the game just broke. Oh, no, it didn't. We're having a little travel. Travel load time. Have a little travel Indiana Jones style. Oh. Okay. You're going to go around like that? All right. Oh, uh, we're going up that way? All right. And we're going back over. Oh, he's so close. Yep. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there you go. And there's the red line continuing to go. And there we are. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Look 
look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Well, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. Coming. <laughs> Uh. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threeporn, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Oh? Why is that? I thought we might talk about a few things. Such as why there's a wanted poster on the wharf with my picture on it? Such as your future, Mr. Threepwood, and that of the ghost pirate, LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? Yes, on this one you can. I took care of LeChuck once, I can do it again. You'll get your chance. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back, or I'll be back. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Oh, I beat the first game. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. I hope I don't have to sleep here. I can't reach it. pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. <laughs> if you missed it, if you missed uh, part two and me beating part two, I, I did put it up on YouTube. It is there. You can, you can, you can see the whole story. Oh, <gasps> you got me on the TV. Hi, everybody. Hi, Katie. Hi, Ali. Hi, Bean. I don't know. I don't know if Miss Moo's there, too. Mookie. Hello. Who's, who's in the room with you? I mean, you must be blind. What's up? Doggy doggy. Here, boy. Mookie and BB? BB! Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to I, list. I, I ripped through pretty quick. 
I ripped through it pretty quick. That Mr. one I Guybrush Threefoot, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Mr. Willy Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. There's a banana in here and an organ. What a big organ. I don't know how to play. This reminds me of a story about a farm girl and... No, never mind. Dude? Dude what? Hey, that <laughs> tickles. work with a guy that sounds like Guybrush? That's so awesome. If I could read, I'd spend all my free time at the Fat City Library. Reginald Blackbeard. Wanted. Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me. For the murder of G.P. LeChuck. Also for the use of witchcraft on the person of Largo Legrand. The thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witchcraft. Gray robbing. Trespassing. Larceny without a permit, exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssoise, unauthorized exiting from a penal institution, and releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. Also wanted for questioning regarding the disappearance of prescription eyewear. Reward offered for information leading to the suspect's apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right on! <laughs> I don't think I can do the fisherman. And then this back alley. Nice. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Sorry to bother you. thingies here. We will go to the library soon, though. I don't think I can get to the cottage. I think in order to get to the cottage... I can't reach it. Yeah, you have to fuck with this waterfall. And in order to fuck with the waterfall... Yeah, there's this pump here. What's this doing in a pirate game? What's this doing in a pirate game? What a big organ. I don't know how to play. It's empty. That pump. That pump right there, the solution to that pump, still makes me mad to think about. I think we can sneak in. Can't remember. I think we can. So there's Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Um, the Curse of Monkey Island, Escape Mo from Monkey Island, and then there is the Tall, the, the Tall Tale Games, which is five chapters long. And then there's a new one coming. Hold it! You can't go up there. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. 
Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. You guys see, see the Grim Fandango artwork up there? A little more, more uh, on purpose. I don't think this has been washed in about 10 years. Hello. I'd like a hundred gallons of butterscotch topping, please. I think I almost woke him up. Show me again how to hypnotize a rhino with an all-day sucker. something stuck in the drain. It seems to go off before stuff comes out of the tube. I don't think I'd better wake him up. Ugh. The cover says, Famous Pirate Quotations. Swap it for another book. Indiana Jones style. Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Old skunk eye. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Fester leech. Darn! Commander Buttonhead. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Wrap scallion. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Barney Gout. Eventually I'll need that other book. I'm pretty sure. But I think we have to give the governor book back. I can't remember if there's actually something in his kitchen, but we can go back to it after I fuck around the library. Big whoop. See, I think treasure. I'll try a different drawer. Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth. I have I had that. Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Chipwrecks. See 
disaster. Disaster. Great shipwrecks of our century. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Want to hear a fantastic ghost story? Shh! This is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? My name is... So I'll use Guy Guybrush Threepwood. Address? Hmm. Who... I think I'm gonna use Pennsylvania Avenue. And 60 West Addison. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue? Age. Um, 21 or 21, nine, two, uh, 21. Uh, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? I need Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth. You've already checked that book out, Mr. Threepwood. Anything else? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? I won't be needing any more books just now. Don't slam the door on your way out. Thank you. I don't know if I needed the great pirate quotations. The chair, the noises the chair makes. This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Shh. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. This is a library. A lot of people walk through that. Don't notice that lighthouse lens. Where do you want to go? All right, we're going to go to Booty Island. Booty, booty, booty. Booty, booty, island. Go. Look at the travel line go. Booty, booty, island. We're going up to booty, 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 island. Is so much booty, booty, island. Oh, come on, Mr. Dredd, just keep going. I feel like I came in at a weird time. <laughs> we're, we're traveling right now, waiting for it to, there we go. Here we are, Booty Island. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? Hey, old man. 
How about blowing off the cannon? How about just blowing off? My name is Augustus DeWatt, not old it man. Even look like a movie. This yeah. cannon is for official purposes only. Gee, I wonder if it's loaded. Hello again. Eh, what was that? You don't have a brother named Marty, do you? Boy, the only Marty I know is Mardi Gras. Who? Mardi Gras. A joke, boy, a joke. You are here for Mardi Gras, aren't you? Hey, if it's a party, I'm there. Well, if it's a party you're looking for, I hear Governor Marley is having some These super the, shindig uh, up at her mansion. They're newer. These are the, uh, the G Pro he headphones. I decided to go with wired headphones. Uh, cause, uh, just think I get better audio quality. Well, maybe I'll just go up there now. Bye. Well, enjoy Mardi Gras. They are. I enjoy them. I enjoy them. Well, I'd like to buy this well polished old saw. Alrighty. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. On uh, second thought, I'd better save my money. Your loss. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this treasure chest. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. Indy's whip, trademark. Pro skulls, mask. I can interact with so much shit in this room. Base, tiki skulls, a whale painting, cannon, rock and roll collector's plate, hubcaps, cannonballs. I feel like I do need the cannonball. Yeah, I'd like to buy these cannonballs. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. It is a special edition. This is the special edition. I'd like to buy this peg leg. Yeah, I like that too, but it's uh -huh. not for sale. Uh -huh. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Alrighty, that'll be 25 uh -huh. pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the there's piece, some but things there's for sale. supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? Well, I can't afford that much. Too bad. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What, what would you, you trade, trade for the, for map, the map, piece? map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk, and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. I don't want to make that parrot mad. Oh, that's right. Do this. And I use it. Parrot chow with the hook. And he goes, oh. Likes to hang out with the parrot. I'd like to buy this mirror. Alrighty. 
That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Talk to the parrot. About chip. About chip. About chip. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Just trying to make as much progress in this game as I as I can. Uh, Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone, or on reserve. Sorry. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I'd really, really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. I need to rent a costume. <laughs> I said I'm all out. I have, I have to, rent to rent a costume. costume. I said I'm all out. My life depends on renting a costume. I don't have a costume for you. Did I ask you about renting a costume yet? I said I'm all out. Um, I'm looking for a costume. Can't you see I'm busy? Please rent me a costume. I don't have a costume for you. You look busy. I'll come back later. I like, I like, um, I like going through the repetitive dialogue. I think it's funny. Three hour tours. Check it out. Three hour tours. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But oh, let's you gotta head to bed? First. My right. fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. 6,000 pieces of eight? Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is All right, a fee, high? thanks for stopping by and no, saying hey. No, I don't. Do you give credit? <laughs> I'll come back later. Okay, I'll be here. Sightseeing. You guys Three ready? Hour tours. You guys ready to see Stan? Check it out. Nice. Check it out. Howdy. Oh, Welcome there he to is. Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck. Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals! And not just those somber, all-black, three-handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing and pallbearer races. All right, I'd like I'll to be say back. we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> I wasn't ready for you, but I'm, I'm here.
soon after that. I gotta go. See you later. Here, Water. take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I can. See yeah. the world. I got a complimentary Sightseeing. hanky. When the tears come, shouldn't you be prepared? Stan's previously owned coffins. Cruises. Okay, now, who's gonna be next? I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? They call me the Phlegm Master. I am, of course, Captain Loogie. Captain I Loogie. I am, of course, Captain Loogie. The Lukester. Luger the Lukester. Hocking the big ones for fame and fortune. Spit away! So this is a... This is a... This is a Loogie spinning Come on, contest. Captain Loogie! Let's go! <laughs> misfire! Misfire! Everybody run! Gee, that's too bad, Captain. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Just look at this juicy crowd. Wah, wah, wah. Step up to the line and test your swill. Valuable prizes. Cheat? With everyone watching? Cheat? With everyone watching? Even a child can do it. In fact, they do it very well. Hi. Come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Glass bottom boat. See the world. Hmm. Hello again. You talking to me, boy? And what are the official purposes of this cannon? I watch the sea. When the mail boat arrives, I blow this cannon. Dang ships three days late. Well, I'm off. Well, enjoy Mardi Gras. I gotta get him to fire that cannon some people yeah I'm rustic uh, no thanks only shiny pages left in the catalog. I plank now. Hey. Right. This way. Oh no. Get a grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. This isn't my costume. Nobody would willingly wear such a dopey costume. Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? Mm, gotta go. Keep up the good work. All right, so we can't go to the party yet because I need the invitation. And... I feel like there might be something else that I need. Island. Where'd you want to go? The Fat Island again, real quick. Mm. 
Nice. 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 Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm a game warden. I'll have to confiscate your pole. You're a game warden, huh? Let's see a badge or something. I don't have to show you any stinking badge. Well, I think you're just trying to get your hands on my fishing pole. Do you fish? Of course. Why else would I want your pole? Well, I was just thinking about a small wager. Are you a betting man? What sort of wager were you thinking of? If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. What's the catch? If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? No. Plain, cold, and with the head still on it. What do you say? Uh, I need more time to think about he, it. He does talk some okay. shit. Okay, I'll be right here. Catch you later. <laughs> Boy, we'll uh, meet up with. No more bets. Ah. Okay, here we go. Yep, it's going. Fourteen black. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Oh, yeah. Bless your bets, please. Give me the next number. Please give me the password. If this is five, what's this? One. Right. The winning number will be 19 black. Thanks. Five. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's, it's we had four. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is one, what's this? Shit, I missed. Four? No, it's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? Two? Okay, that's one right. Okay. Two more. If this is two, what's this? Two? No. It's one. Ah. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? One? No. It's three. Watch again. Okay. If this is three, what's this? Two. 
trying to remember Three? the... No. It's two. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? One? Okay, that's one, right? Two more. If this is one, what's this? Three? That's two. One more. If this is three, what's this? Five? Okay, you must be right, a member cool. of the Gamblers Club. You just have to... You just have to but I don't recognize like you. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be three red. Three red. So we'll get the invitation. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Waiting, 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 waiting. 19 black. All right, you win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Bless your bets, please. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? Three red. I'd like three red. Okay. Here we go. Waiting. Three red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations! Thanks! All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. All right, and just to make sure that I'm miss not missing anything else, I'm gonna go back to the that governor's mansion. Make sure there isn't anything Oh man, we're running out of time. We got some stuff done. We don't have any map, map pieces yet, though. Can't fuck with the kitchen. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the mad monkey sank at thirty six north, eighty two west.
I'll have to remember that next time we play. our way back to Scab Island. Kapow! What's up, full day? As you can see, I've been very... I've been feeling the pirate theme lately. Playing some Monkey Island. Where do you want to go? I'm gonna go back to Scab Island. Oh no. Take me there. Take me there. Oh. Oh. Gotta go through the Indiana Jones travel line scene again. There it goes. There it goes. Chillin', killin'. That's in the wrong direction. That's Booty Island. Oh my god. Come on, man. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Go get fired. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to buy some eggs. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. What'd you do to my piano player? Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. <laughs> hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And that here's a, a complimentary dude. crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the Bloody Lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. <laughs> That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. I love how all the drinks are in broken ass 
Broken ass glasses. It's a blue drink in a broken glass. It's a yellow drink in a broken glass. It's a red drink in a broken glass. So I can't remember if I need to mix. You need to mix them, and then uh, you get you get something that makes it nice and phlegmy. I made Largo leave this island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Give. How am I supposed to work? I can give him. Dang. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. Eventually, I'll need to have Wally hook me up. It's too high. I can't. He's lacquered it onto the wall. Nice sturdy workbench. It says, out on house call. Please come again. Well, well he's okay. I, I stole his monocle at the very beginning of the game. It's too heavy to move. No, thanks. I don't touch other people's stools. I may be a lazy guy, but carrying around my own place to sit is too much. Can't remember if there's anything else I want here. I think just the hammer and nails is what I want. So, we will. I think I can leave the island for now. I'm gonna check something real quick. Oh. Hmm. Only one guest. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Nice. Nice. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Oh, I know what time it is. Oh, in order to get me where I want to be so I can call it a night, I am going to go back to, uh, to Booty Island. And then that's what I'm going to call it. Booty Island? Where do you want to go? Booty Island? where we're gonna do some more damage. All right, how much percent? 
Where we at? We were at 11. I'm at 43%. 43%. Yes. 43%. About two hours. It means next time I play the game, I'm... Depending on how I do, I might be able to cruise through it. Um, probably one to two more sit-downs. I'm telling you, man, I love these games. Good time. Your auto saving quick. All right, that is it. Goodness, features. Oh, there's a bunch of cool concept art that I can look at. Oh, wow. Oh, these are great. I'll show you guys some of the concept art next time. But a lot of it's really cool. That's definitely pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's it for me tonight. Uh, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Um, I will put part one up on YouTube. Uh, usually give it a day for it to process and everything. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for stopping by. I want to thank for PK Gab for rating me and uh, reminding me Drink my water. I promise, though. I do promise, though. This game got some kind of fucky puzzles. The halfway and end point. I don't know if I'll get stuck stuck. But I won't look like I know what I'm doing as much. I promise. I've, I've done this one a couple times. Um, and then as I get to the third one and the fourth one, my progress is probably going to slow down and I'm probably not going to be able to beat it in two to three sit downs. I might actually have a harder time because I don't remember everything. Um, this one I'm already telling that I have to go back and forth a little bit more than I like as far as progress wise but i'm getting there i'm getting there um but yeah two is one of my favorites as far as like the story it's a little darker it's a little darker of a story um it's just weird it's just weird it's a good it's a good weird i like the vibe um and then the third one whew, the curse of monkey island is going to be such a treat that is when the game, like, they didn't make, like, a special edition of that one. That one's got its own unique art style off the bat. And that's when they added the voice acting to the game originally. And the, they loved the voice acting cast so much that that's what they've been using for all the other games. So, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for, thanks for poking your heads in, saying hi. I love you all. Uh, hope the rest of the week goes by fast, and I'll see y'all on Friday. Uh, I'm still feeling Sea of Thieves. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, Gav and uh, Katie can join us. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me know. Let me know. We'll go. We'll go. Uh, we'll go fuck around the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> all right, that's it for me. Good night, everybody.